All right, what's up guys? Uh, this is Rafael Lovato Jr. And I'm very, very excited to be sharing with you guys my Kimura secrets, okay? Um, the Kimura has been one of my most effective submissions at the black belt level. I've used this numerous times, um, including just the most recent Metamorphs competition in my super fight against Kyron Gracie, okay? Um, I have a lot of different variations of, of how I like to set up the Kimura from side control, and it's one of my best submissions and one that I've been using for a very long time. So I have a lot of nice details uh, to help you isolate that arm and break that grip, okay? So if any of you had the, the mindset that the Kimura is only for big, strong guys or you have to be you know, a lot bigger than your opponent, things like that, I wanna put that to rest and share with you guys all the technical details that I've developed and allow you guys to use the Kimura uh, against everybody, okay? And there's also going to be some nice transitions off the Kimura um, that you guys will be able to add into your game as well. All right. So this first one, we're going to start in a in a pretty obvious bad position for the person on bottom. Okay. Their arm is over your shoulder here. Okay. Uh, most people learn at a pretty early stage that this is a bad place to keep your arm, but you know it happens. Okay. Uh, a lot of times their arm ends up there in a, in a scramble or as they start to uh, uh, block you passing their guard and we land in, in the side control with that arm in that position, okay? Uh, in regards to a side control, to make sure you guys are the heaviest you can be, okay? Make sure that you're not resting on the floor, but you're keeping your hip connected to their hip, okay? So you see how the right side of my hip is connected to the right side of his hip right there, okay? So that way, there's no weight on the floor that should be on my partner here, okay? Now, normally I have the cross face, but I know this arm is in bad position, so I'm ready to work it, okay? I'm going to let go of this cross face, and here I'm going to keep a really strong hook around his arm, okay? This is really similar to like a step around arm bar that you guys are probably familiar with, all right? But, you know, one thing that people will do in this sort of uh, scenario, when they know that you're looking to pull them over and step over their head, is they're going to use this arm a lot to block you and keep you from making the transition around their head, okay? Whether it's, you know, posting in your hip or blocking your legs, something in that nature, okay? So what I'm going to do to help me get rid of that arm right away in the early stages of this attack, I'm going to use my hand and I'm going to come from the inside, okay? this way here and I'm gonna get inside his wrist and use my gravity and my weight to pin this arm down just enough to where I can bring my shin over his bicep okay this is gonna be real similar to like a an MMA crucifix position here where I could be throwing strikes okay but I just wanna isolate this arm so I pin that down just enough to where I can bring my shin over and now I'm going to transition my leg so now this leg is going to switch. So my right shin is going to come over that arm as my left shin comes off. Okay? And at this point, I'm going to keep this hook, keep my head and shoulder tight around his arm. All right? So all this is tight and snug. And I'm going to pull. As I pull, I'm bringing my elbow down to the other side. Okay? So I'm going to start to lift up and drop my elbow down real low like I'm trying to touch the mat on the other side and you'll see how my body is on top of his arm I don't want his arm uh, free okay because he knows it's coming he's gonna uh, pull his arm back to the floor and flatten up and I lost the position okay so as I bring this over my body comes down right on top alright so now he can't get this back all right? I'm very heavy here and then take my step drop my knee on the other side okay and I already have this other arm isolated with my shin that we did in the beginning. Now, with this variation of the Kimura, I'm going to have to switch my arms. So once I make it this far, I'm going to lift up and bring my other arm through. And as I do with this hand, I'm immediately going to grip right in his palm, okay, and his wrist. Okay, so my fingers are actually going inside his hand. This gives me much more le leverage in, in dealing with his grip. And I can even kind of work on his wrist a little bit to make it harder for him to make a strong grip, okay? And at that point, I'm going to be using the monkey grip. The monkey grip is going to be without using your thumbs, all right? 
So there's no thumbs in this grip on either arm, the one that's controlling his, the one that's controlling mine. And they're going to roll very far forward. Okay? This is going to give you much more leverage and a lot more strength on that, uh, on that finish. Okay? Because what happens a lot, if you use your thumbs, as you take it over, a strong guy is going to extend his arm and it slides right out that space between your fingertips. Okay? So that's why the monkey grip is so important. And also gripping right in that hand is going to help you a lot. Okay? So I switch my arms. Immediately I'm going right into his palm, making my monkey grip. From here, now I'm going to make my arms and body one. Okay? I'm not going to raise up and then use my arms. All right? A strong guy, he's going to be able to keep that grip. Okay? Because it's just my arms against his grip. So it's important that I lean forward and keep my elbows and my arms tight with my body, okay, as I come up to pull that arm away, okay. Make sure you're pulling away from the grip first, then taking the arm up and over for the finish. If he's flexible, I can twist my body here and lift this foot up, or this knee up, keep my foot on the mat, and take the arm continually all the way to his far shoulder, all right. Let's look at this again. So, the arm was in bad position over my shoulder. Okay? Immediately I'm making this cup and squeezing tight with my head and shoulder. All right? My right hip's on his hip nice and tight. From here I'm using this inside of my hand here to come inside his wrist and allow me to push this down. Okay? You're not going to be able to get it you know, I'm not just using my arm to pin it down, okay? I just want to get it enough to where my shin can come over. All right, that's all I need right there, okay? Now, I'm going to switch. Look how my foot is kind of kicking my butt, and it's like a windshield wiper. As this one comes off, the other one comes over, okay? So I'm keeping that arm neutralized and out of the picture. Now I can step and pull using my hand to uh, bring his arm over, dropping my elbow and my body on top of his arm. Now he can't get that back. Then I can put my knee down, and you'll see how this leg has this arm neutralized. At this point, we switch our grips. Right at his palm, lean forward. The body and the arms work together. Big pull, up and over, okay? One last time, show you guys the reverse angle. Arms in bad position, I get it trapped up, come inside, work on this arm, shin, shin, step, big pull, look how I'm dropping this elbow down and my body is coming on top, very heavy, very tight, knee goes down, switch, attack right in the hand, okay, here, I know he's probably going to make a grip, we lean forward, Arms stay tight to the body, big pull, okay? I might maybe have to do two quick pulls, okay? Important thing is you kind of just keep, um, you know, making the grip less and less strong, okay? So I go forward, one, two, okay? Get that out, up and over for the finish, okay? So just so you can see in the air, on my finish, okay, when I lean forward, I'm not coming up and then using my arms, all right? My arms stay tight to my body here, okay? As I lean forward and I go, when I come up, my arms are still tight. So I'm using my whole body, my hips, into breaking that grip and then taking over for the finish. So that's going to be our first Kimura in this series. I hope you guys like those details and we're going to continue to look at all the different ways we can set up the Kimura no matter where his arm is positioned.